Hello YouTube land, it's Debbie from the Canadian Crotchet or today is November 3rd, very early in the morning. Uh, sorry about, <laughs> yeah, the appearance and whatnot, it's early in the morning. So, I'm having my coffee and I figured I would do the drawing for the, the kits that Hirschner so graciously uh, gave to me. Okay, so I've already loaded the URL into the uh, YouTube comment picker. Sorry, brain's not awake yet. Uh, and now the first winner is is for the poinsettia, uh, pretty poinsettia kit. It's a crochet kit and some lovely, lovely cotton yarn. I might have to invest in some of that cotton myself. Same with the other cotton too. Uh, okay, so the rules and everything were in the last video, so I'm just going to press start and it's doing its thing. So the winner of is Deborah DeWitt. Deborah DeWitt. Hold on, I'm going to try to show you if it'll focus. There we go. Deborah DeWitt. Deborah, you're going to have to send me an email. My email is crochet2018 at rogers.com, but it is linked down below. Uh, if you send me an email, uh, I will give you a word that you will have to come back and uh, put, uh, amend or edit your comment to add that word so that I know you are who you are. Because only the person who made the comment can edit it. So that that's unfortunately in the world that we live in this is an extra step i i completely think it's silly but it has to be done so that's number one number two let's uh hold on pick another winner so the second winner is gonna get the kit the friendly fins washcloths this is such a cute kit if i had little kids in my life i would actually want to do this so cute and it consists of one two three four five uh skeins of the craft cotton which in my mind is very soft and three uh hanks or balls of suds and scrubs by hirschner's okay so let's see who we're same rules apply you're gonna have to give me uh an email and i'll give you a word to edit your comment uh and the winner is Ricola's Crochet Corner. <laughs> Ricola's Crochet Corner. I know Crystal. I'm doing a Christmas swap with her. That's awesome. All right. Pick another winner. And the last winner will get the rug hooking kit, which consists of the, it'll be a pillow, uh, a latch hook uh, pillow uh, of this little kitty at Christmas, you know. And it consists of uh, the all the materials, except I don't feel a, hook, a latch hook. So if I have time, I'll run out and get a latch hook. If not, <laughs> it won't be in there. Anyway, uh, so the third winner will win this. And let's see, start. And the third winner is... It's taking a while. Fibro... Uh, I think it's Fiberge, uh, Fiberge, Fiberge Crochet. That's awesome, awesome. So um, the only one that doesn't need to uh, <laughs> do the word is Crystal Crochet because we text each other. I know who she is. Um, so the other two uh, will will uh, have to send me an email and I will uh, work with them to get these to them. Um, I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. I appreciate everyone who participated in this little quick giveaway and uh, oh no. Oh, you know what? Hold on. All right, I'm back. I had forgotten something, completely forgot about this, because uh, my brain is not there. But a couple of days ago, a, another YouTuber uh, reached out to me. Her channel is Cocktails and Crochet. She's a fellow Canadian. Uh, she, I don't think she has a lot of videos, but she issued out a pattern, and she uh, she's at, um, 
She wants to give each of these winners a pattern, um, one of these patterns. It's called the Coco's Karen Cake Button Cowl. So each winner will also get a digital copy of this pattern. Um, it is a cowl. Now, I started this, I believe it was yesterday, and I worked my little butt off to make this, and then I realized I packed all of my buttons. So I cannot finish it, but I wanted to show you what it looks like so far. So basically, it goes like this, and then you button it kind of like this. So well, I will add the buttons. I think it's adorable, it's so cute. So I have to go out and buy buttons, because I can't find mine. <laughs> Um, but anyway, so each of these, isn't this a cute little little cowl? It's basically a rectangle and then the way you fold it over, um, it's really cute. Look at the, the stitches. Is that not adorable? Um, and then it finish, you finish it off with a, uh, a great scalloped edge. Is that not cute? And this was made with Red Heart Roll with a Tweed. It was the only cake yarn. She, hers is made with Karen cake, but she said any other four, number four weight uh, yarn will work. Um, I will leave the link. Uh, I'm not sure if it's a paid or purchase pattern, but I will leave the link for uh, the pattern um, down below. But just know that all three of winners will get uh, this pattern. So nice, of, and I believe her name is Corey. Um, so nice of Corey to reach out and say, hey, I want to I want to participate in this giveaway, too So the three winners will also get the digital uh, copy of this cowl. It's so cute. Isn't it cute? Oh, it's so cute um, These are not my colors the purple so I can I can see this walking out of the house with someone else But uh, thank you Corey. That was so nice of you, and I'm sorry about the mix-up. It's just brains not there <laughs> Anyway, get in touch with me. The three winners need to get in touch with me. Uh, I hope everyone is having a wonderful day, and we will talk soon. Okay, <laughs> didn't I say my brain's not working right? Uh, one quick last thing. Um, yesterday, or a couple of days ago, when I posted that video, I was wearing this frumpy sweater, and everybody comment, or so many commented, saying it's lovely. Is there a pattern? Yes, there is. I made this. Oh my goodness. I don't want, I, two years ago maybe, a year and a half ago, it is very pilled up because it's my, um, it, I think Carrie calls it the six sweater. <laughs> it is my go-to comfy thing. It has been washed a gazillion times. It is made with super, a Red Heart Super Saver Chunky uh, in the color Goldenrod. So I don't know if you can get that anymore. I have one, one ball left. But anyway, it is, this is my sweater. It is beat up, but it is my go-to. Uh, when I need comfort, this is what I put on. Uh, so it's been washed, like I said, a million times. It is the da uh, Easy Wear Cardigan Crochet Pattern by Dabbles and Babbles. I will leave the link down below. It, there, it is pay a paid for pattern. Uh, I have written down here, 295 US. So, it's not an expensive pattern, but it is a very good pattern. It, uh, it ex you know, explains quite a lot. It is quite a few pages to print, but uh, yeah, it's a great pattern. So I, th I said I was going to leave the link. I'm leaving the link. Uh, if you want to make your own, it is made. It's fast because it's made with chunky yarn and it's frumpy. You know, there's no uh, real shaping to it, but uh, it's just a go to. And I love it. I, I wear it all the time. Anyway, now I'm done. Now I'm going to leave and we will talk soon.